Novak Djokovic versus Pablo Carina Busta is the bronze medal match for the Olympics for 2021. Both players have had different roads to get to this bronze medal match. Carina Busta entered the tournament as the number six seed and will take on Tennis Sangren in the first round. And after a tight first set, would eventually prevail in straight sets 7-5, 6-2. In the second round, Busta would take on Marin Cilic, the 2014 US Open champion. And after dropping the first set, rebounded to win in three, 5-7, 6-4, 6-4. In the third round, Busta would take on the German Kopfer. And after a very close first set, he would eventually prevail in straight sets, 7-6, 6-3. In the quarterfinal stage, he would take on the number two seed, Daniel Medvedev, who had struggled with the heat during the tournament. And this seemed to help Busta as he prevailed in straight sets, 6-2, 7-6. In his semi-final matchup, he would take on the number 12 seed, Kareem Hashinov. And although Busta did put up a fight, Hashinov was too big and too strong, with Busta eventually going down in straight sets, 3-6, 3-6, and relegated to the bronze medal match. The world number one, Novak Djokovic, came into the tournament and faced Dillian in the first round. This match was no problem for Djokovic, getting through in straight sets, 6-2, 6-2. His second round opponent was the big German Struff, a man who he'd never lost to before, and the trend continued with Djokovic getting through in straight sets, 6-4, 6-3. His third round opponent would be the number 16 seed Davidovic Fakina, a man that Djokovic had beaten in Rome only a few months ago. And he would repeat the scoreline, winning in straight sets, 6-3, 6-1. His quarterfinal opponent would be the unseeded hometown hero, Kane Shikori. And although these two had played many times before, this match was super easy for Djokovic, who would get through in straight sets again. 6-2, 6 love. His semi-final opponent was a massive step up compared to anybody else he played. He would take on the number four seed, Alexander Zverev. And although Djokovic was very impressive in the first set, winning a lot of crucial points, he eventually went down in three sets in a big upset. 6-1, 3-6, 1-6, to be forced to play another bronze medal match at the Olympics. These two have played five times before, with Djokovic leading the head-to-head 4-1, -head with the only win for Karina Busta being the US Open of last year, and we all know what happened there. It was a default for Djokovic, so technically, not a win over Nole in his career. If Karina Busta is going to win this match, he needs to be aggressive. Watching him against Hashinov, he was way too passive and he was just letting Hashinov control the points. He needs to be a little bit more aggressive against Djokovic and go for winners. We know Djokovic is capable of hitting winners and is also a brick wall. Karina Busta needs to be more aggressive because he's not going to be able to out-rally Djokovic. If Djokovic is going to win this match, he needs to keep his foot on the gas. Against Zverev, he was cruising. He was up a break in the second set after winning the first set, but he just didn't keep it going. He took the foot off the accelerator, and we saw what happened after that. So he needs to keep the foot on the gas if he wants to get a bronze medal out of this Olympics. Both players are coming off very disappointing results in the semi-final after having really, really good tournaments, beating some really good players in Karina Busta's case, and Djokovic cruising up until the semi-final stage. But I'm going to go with Novak Djokovic to win this one. I reckon he's going to avenge his loss against Zverev and he's going to make Karina Busta pay for the loss that he had yesterday against Zverev. But this is going to be an interesting match to see what actually happens. Let me know down in the comments below. Who do you think is going home with the bronze medal?